Greetings folks, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And if you're like many folks, you've purchased a vacuum like one of these. I mean one of these, a straight suction canister. A canister without an electric power nozzle, there's no power takeoff, and you're trying to use it on wall-to-wall -wall carpet. They just don't work very well for that. There's a couple of solutions I'm going to put, hopefully in the description below as well, of how to get these things to clean carpet. Now, you could use a high efficiency carpet nozzle. Problem with this is it's really hard to push and it doesn't do pet hair that well. Another option is going to be TK286 by Visselwork. This is probably the best option for most folks. But for some folks who want to go the extra mile, you want the glorious EBK360 or one of the other electric vessel work variants. Behold, the battery operated wand. This is going to be the key to making all this work. The other thing is you're going to have to get really crafty. This wand is 32 millimeters or inch and a quarter, which means vacuums that are 34 millimeters are not going to work with this, or vacuums that are female are not going to work with this. I'm trying to put two females together not going to work. Anyways, one of the adapters that we'll be using is the chameleon hose end. You could also use the uh, Hida hose adapter. I don't like the Hida hose as much. The chameleon is better made. And you can take a stub tube, either the Auric or the Henry, and jam it in there. Once it's in there, it's solid, and then attach a Henry hose or a Eureka or wh whatever else that's inch and a quarter you want to use. But if you are a true man of culture, and you're trying to make this work, uh, you probably want to fabricate something like this. This is a steel 32 to 34 millimeter adapter, a button lock drilled into it and properly sized. That's an art in itself. I'm not even going to show how to do that in the video, but that's its own thing. And then this is a stub tube from a Mila, a legacy Mila. It probably didn't come with your Mila, it came with Mila's with an electric power head. But your local Mila dealer most likely has this in a drawer somewhere, something like that. Occasionally I see them for sale on eBay, but this Mila adapter, nobody really knows what it's for, but it's perfect, so we've affixed it to here, so we have the button lock adapter there. So that's how I'm going to do this. Just as an example, I am going to show what a TK286 attachment looks like, which is probably the most economical way to upgrade one of these for low to medium pile carpet use. Now, what I'm about to show you specifically pertains to the AirSign straight suction canister. You would not apply necessarily all of this to a Mila or a Bosch, but a lot of the principles are the same, except for the whole uh, plastic insert in the wand. Mila attachments clip right on. You could also get a Mila adapter, like the stainless steel adapter, to inch and a quarter, but then you lose the airflow and all the fun stuff that comes with the wider fitting, and then this is just friction fit. So we probably want locking accessories. Now this is a central vacuum style TK286, great attachment. This is a TK286 from another brand, which I will do a later video on. Brand's not important. What is important is this is a TK286 in a 34 millimeter fitting that is not branded by Mila. Though if you want to get the one branded by Mila, go for it. So this locks in beautifully. So here is the kicker. Well, that park in there. Oh my, that park's in there. It's like it's meant for that. It's amazing. Now, just for reference, so the Mila tool doesn't park in there. So that's a con if you go with the Mila tool. So let me show you how this does on my uh, really low pile carpet here. All right, we're gonna do this just first with the included nozzle so you get an idea of what we're working with.
All right, you'll notice I zoomed out. I did that for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to show this breakfast cereal that got snow plowed by this. Two, I want to show the results from the TK286. And I hope it comes out on camera, but there is still a little bit of sand here. The breakfast cereal got plowed and there's still a bunch of animal hair here. The TK286 did great, except for where the belt is, which is normal. But if you overlap on your vacuum, that's just fine. But that's the solution for wall-to-wall -wall carpet, or if this machine is hard to push, which is, let's throw a TK286 on the end of it. Well, now I've switched to the battery-operated EBK360DC, and this is an expensive piece of kit, but it is worth it. In my opinion, this is worth every penny, but it is a little on the pricey side because it was originally intended for central vacuum installs, so price doesn't so much matter there. But this is one of the latest things to hit the vacuum market in general. So let's see how it works on the end of the air sign. I think those results speak for themselves. It got the breakfast cereal, the pet hair. Even got most of the sand. There's still a little bit of sand left embedded. I'm not sure the air sign really has enough power to suck through a 14 inch nozzle. However, what is cool about this, and I have a whole video on this if you want to know the details of the EDK360. Once you have one of these wands set up with the adapters, there is a whole ecosystem of attachments available. So really, if you didn't like the way 14 inch nozzle you could buy a 12 inch nozzle i have a video on those again each individual nozzle separately just because i really want to show proof of concept not going anywhere so now we can put this on and you're going to see where this is going one of the problems of doing it is it does make the wand long so you won't need to telescope the wand much if at all now we can vacuum their straight suction mila But heck, maybe you need a power nozzle and you don't own a Mila. Well, for whatever reason, Mila and Bosch share the same fitting. So, uh... Yeah, that works too. That's how you make an EBK 360 DC fit just about anything. Now, We've put this on a $600 vacuum, we've put this down on a $150 vacuum, and we've put it on a $300 vacuum. Again, this thing is double the price of most of these vacuums up here, but it is worth it, especially if you have wall-to-wall -wall carpet and you can't install a central vacuum, or for some reason you're unable to or don't want to get an electric power head on the end of a vacuum at the time of purchase. Now, if you had something like a Henry, what you would do is take the stub tube, Insert in the back of the chameleon handle, and you are good to go. That's right, the other thing that can be done with this Visselwork battery-operated wand and nozzles you can put on the end of a cordless canister and go to town and never have to worry about a cord again. Well, I hope this helps somebody who has a straight suction canister and wants to put an electric power head on it. This is the unsanctioned way of doing it. 
but it is definitely a great way to do it. Thanks for watching, folks. Comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And as always, I'll put links in the description for what I can find available online. Some of this stuff, you're going to have to go to your central vacuum dealer and or your Mila dealer to get. Have yourself a fantastic day.